Hello, this is Math2270 coming to you from the College of DuPage, and this is the summer of 2020, and this is a continuation of the modeling lecture. And this is the problem you said about doing the last time uh, that we met. Uh, I hope you've solved it, but if you haven't yet, uh, you know what to do now. And let's see how you did. Well, clearly there is a time when things change, and we're going to tell time of intervention, we're going to call uh, intervention, and we're going to call that T sub M up here. And that will happen whenever uh, the bad stuff uh, gets up to, uh, from two ounces in the, uh, in the tank initially, up to 500 ounces of the uh, bad stuff, and then we start flushing it. So before uh, that intervention time, what happens is we're running in three gallons per uh, hour of very bad stuff and we're running out the same three so you see the amount of um, stuff in the tank remains at 800 because the uh, this flow rate is the same as that flow rate and then this is the concentration that that concentration is known to be five and this is the concentration of the well mixed solution in 800 gallons and your initial condition was you had um, two ounces of the stuff to start with. Now afterwards what will happen is, and this doesn't kick in until after the intervention, but things change. You're not pumping in any pollutant. This is fresh water and it's coming in at two gallons per hour, but you're flushing it out at four gallons per hour. So you see the net is going to be two minus four. That's going to be a minus two that's going out. And this is the amount of thing whenever it's re reached that critical uh, level, and this is the uh, this is the volume that you have, um, and so those are the um, and and we know that there were 500 here, and we also are now defining an ending um, time, and we'll uh, figure that out later as well. So we now have these two initial value problems that we're working with. Let's deal with Q1 first. And so we, uh, we do some uh, simplifications there. And we also do some uh, algebra simplifications here. And we simplify those explorations. So we've ex uh, done both of those. But now we need to find out what T sub M and T sub E are. And so we're going to have to go to solve these. So we'll solve them in turn, but we'll solve for Q1 first. Uh, now this is a linear first order initial value problem. And this is your initial condition, and so you know how to uh, solve this. And I encourage you to do the work. I'm just going to show you the solution that you get at the end should be this. This is what Q1 of T is using that initial condition. But this allows us to figure out when does T sub M happen because this says when does this amount of pollutant reach 500 ounces. And so we're solving at what time t does this equal 500. And when you solve that, you get t is 35 hours and change. So now we know what the time of intervention has to be. But now the system dynamics have changed. And this is our uh, equation. Again, this is a linear first order differential uh, initial value problem. So you know how to solve it. And you should solve it and this is your initial condition and t sub m actually is this value right here in fact i guess i'm um yeah so so we have we have that uh so this is the one you're solving with that initial condition so you should solve this and when you solve this you should get this as your solution for q2 of t now we do know what the t ending time is now because the ending time is when the tank goes dry and so that is going to be uh, at time uh, 435 because that's when this becomes empty. So we have this before the intervention, there's the intervention. We have this after the intervention and there's the ending time and this is what the cycle looks like and then you would start all over again assuming that this was the kind of regulation that you wanted to have for the pollutant. Here's another problem. This will be a different kind of problem. A 50 kilometer, gosh, a 50 kilogram, sorry about that, object is uh, shot from a cannon straight up 
with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second off a bridge that is 100 meters off the ground. If uh, air resistance is given by 5 V squared, you see the faster you're going, the more air resistance there hit is. This is heavy air, I guess. Uh, determine the velocity of the mass at any time t. Now the important thing to realize is sometimes it's going up and sometimes it's going down. So you know what to do. And see how you did in 13.